how can I write a strong introductory paragraph? In this lesson, you'll learn how to draft a strong introductory paragraph by distinguishing a precise claim from an opposing claim. Let's review the prompt that we've been given. Prospero is the protagonist of The Tempest. His motive for revenge is central to establishing the plot in Act 1, Scene 2. Does Shakespeare want his audience to empathize with Prospero? Write an essay that addresses the question and supports your position with evidence from the text. Let's just review that first bullet point because we're going to get more into that today. Develop precise claims and address counterclaims fairly and supply evidence from the text for each. Okay, so let's review the writing process. First step of the writing process is to read closely and analyze the text you're writing about. Second step is to generate and plan what you're about to write. Third step is to draft and revise your writing. And fourth step is to edit and publish what you've written. In this lesson, we will begin drafting. Um, we have already created an outline of our body paragraphs, and we've also taken a position in response to the prompt question and thus have our claim, and then we created a thesis from that claim with our two reasons. So an introduction is important because this is where go we're going to establish this thesis that we came up with. So let's review the structure of an introductory paragraph. It begins with stating the, the text and author that you'll be discussing in a literary essay, and they're going to provide context for the reader. And you can think of these two sections as setting the stage for the presentation of your thesis. So you conclude with your thesis, you build up to it. First step we're going to take is to refer to the text and author you will be discussing and provide a short summary. Step two, ask yourself what background knowledge do I need to build? Step three, provide a concise overview of the main claims and counterclaims you will cover. And step four, you're going to conclude your introduction with your thesis. Okay, so it's important to mention the title and the author of the text you'll be discussing at the beginning of your introduction. It doesn't have to be the first sentence, but it should be mentioned at least in the first few sentences. Some authors like to use what is called a hook sentence in order to grab the reader's attention, such as by asking a question, stating an interesting fact or statistic, or telling a short anecdote. However, because this is a literary essay on a text that's been much studied, it's probably better to get straight into it without any gimmicks. Now, when mentioning the title of a text, you will want to either underline or italicize it. If you're writing by hand, underlining is preferred, but if you're typing, you should probably italicize as this is most common. So to introduce the text and author, here are some basic sentence starters that we can use. So I'm going to use one of these just to show you what it will look like. And remember, we're not just talking about the whole text, we're talking about a specific scene. So in Act 1, Scene 2 of The Tempest, William Shakespeare, or I could say in The Tempest, Act 1, Scene 2 by William Shakespeare. I'm going to just stick with that first one, or second one, excuse me. So now we're going to provide a short summary of the scene that's relevant to the topic we're going to be exploring. So here's a really short summary of the purpose and content of the scene. We are introduced to Prospero and learn why he and his daughter Miranda are stuck on an island. Now there's a lot of other ways this scene could be summarized, but the important thing is that we're not spending a lot of words on this or mentioning details that aren't relevant to our purpose. So now let's put it into one complete sentence. In The Tempest, Act 1, Scene 2 by William Shakespeare, we are introduced to Prospero and learn why he and his daughter Miranda are stuck on an island. Now that we've established what text and author we'll be discussing and set the reader up with a short summary, we'll now want to make sure that we're providing any further context and background knowledge that they'll need in order to be ready to understand our argument. So we have generated our thesis statement and made our claim supported by two reasons. We stated that Shakespeare wants his audience to empathize with Prospero because Prospero's motive for revenge is central to establishing the plot Prospero's complexity as a character makes him more interesting. So now I'm going to ask myself, what background knowledge do I need to build in order to set the stage for this thesis statement at the conclusion of my introduction? Well, I will want to build my audience's knowledge of how Shakespeare uses Prospero's retelling of past events to establish the plot in this scene. I will probably also want to establish how Prospero is developed as a complex character by presenting some details about he, how he is characterized as both positive and in a negative manner in this scene by Shakespeare. So here's an example of what I could write. In this scene, we learn why Shake Prospero creates the storm we saw in scene one, and through his retelling of past events, we learn that he has a motive for revenge against his brother Antonio. Shakespeare uses Prospero's retelling of past events to establish the plot, and Shakespeare wants us to be interested in discovering whether Prospero gets his revenge. Shakespeare also develops Prospero as a complex character, character in this scene by characterizing Prospero in both a positive and negative way. Now I want to make sure that I set my reader up for my thesis by providing a concise overview of any claims or counterclaims I would be covering in my essay. In this case of this literary essay, we have been given a prompt question to address, so there's really only one main claim we're making and one main counterclaim, which is essentially a yes or no response to that question. The reasons I've come up with to support my claim are that Prospero's motive for revenge is central to establishing the plot, and Prospero's complexity as a character makes him more interesting. The reason I came up with for the counterclaim is that Prospero demonstrates a controlling and abusive personality. 
So I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I just simply want to acknowledge that Prospero does de demonstrate some negative character traits. So I can just add a concise sentence here, such as, though Prospero can be controlling at times, overall he is presented as a compassionate character. I'm just acknowledging the other side, but continue with my argument. Now, since I've already generated my thesis, all I have to do now is put all these pieces together to make my strong introductory paragraph. Remember that an introduction in a literary essay cons consists of an introduction introduction of the text and the author, the context necessary for the reader to know what we're talking about, finishing with the thesis. With all of these components in place, we'll have a strong introduction. So we've created our introductory sentence uh, sh and a short summary of Act 1, Scene 2, introducing the text and author. Then we provided the context with our readers, as well as provided a concise overview of the claim and counterclaim, moving into our thesis. So to review, review what we've done so far for our written response, we've drafted our introduction, and now we're ready to begin drafting our body paragraphs because we've already outlined our reasons and evidence. Okay, so to review where we are in the writing process, we've drafted our introductory paragraph, and now we're ready to move into our body. So step one, refer to the text and author you will discuss and provide a short summary. Step two, ask yourself what background knowledge do I need to build? Step three, provide a concise overview of the main claims and counterclaims you will cover. And step four, conclude your introduction with your thesis. In this lesson, you have learned how to draft a strong introductory paragraph by distinguishing a precise claim from an opposing claim.